Need a bigger fleet. Thirsty for battle! Ready for orders!
Ready for battle. I am here, then. Speak your words. We did... Your lack of... Do not wander in like a desert beggar. If you have something... So I've just realized my microphone wasn't recording any of that. Whoops. Um, basically, we're just setting up to start the war with the Seleucids. We're moving forces down here so we can start getting a little bit aggressive against Carthage. And other than that, I was just catching myself up on where the campaign is at right now. the diplomatic situation with the Arverni. Not great. the map. So the Seleucids have 
three full stack fleets, essentially. Plus another one that they could build up pretty quickly. So they might be able to take two of my coastal settlements in one go. Hmm. Alright, well, against my better judgment, we're still going to go forward with this, just not this turn, because we can't, we don't quite have the movement range necessary <clears throat> to do everything I want to do in the first turn, because I want to clear them out of here and start taking territory over here. Now, they do actually have an extra force down here. So I need to be a little bit more cautious. A little bit more cautious than I was anticipating. What might be wise to do is move the Fury over to Pessinus to play some defense. What I think I'll do instead is just go here and hope Pergamon doesn't get too upset with me. And we'll just hang out there for a turn. Because that way I think we're just out of range of their garrison. And I don't think they could reasonably attack me with these two half stacks. So we're ready to make a move on these Seleucids. We're looking pretty good in terms of defense in the north of Italy. So we're rotating troops down. <coughs> to deal with the Carthaginians in Sicily. The fleet still needs to be recruiting, and obviously this is going to take quite a bit of our money per turn, but it's a sacrifice that has to be made, just because we need the extra bodies in the sea to keep Carthage from attacking us quite as easily, because naval engagements are kind of a pain to deal with. You now have enough influence to get married, but aren't really old enough to need it. He's still 17. We'll give him another turn. We could actually... Nah, we won't bother with that, because that hurts loyalty pretty bad for the other parties. We could have this guy... Go ahead and gather some support. So we're going to get him married probably next turn. But we're trying to build our influence up without decreasing loyalty too quickly. So kind of taking it slow and trying to keep it a bit balanced. Go ahead and send you to the nobles to get a little bit extra loyalty. And then we'll end the turn. humbly ask for a single, modest subsidy to help our people in a dark time. I have the money that I could afford that, but I don't really need it. So remember, another thing I want to do here is build my treasury back up, hopefully close to 200,000 gold. Alright, now it looks like everything is situated 
for us to begin the war. That's going to be up there, and we don't really care. So again, we're still just rotating down south in Italy. As soon as we get extra forces here, I think we can go a little bit more offensive, maybe take Sicily, and then try and peace out with Carthage. Now over here, I just want to make sure all my forces are positioned where I need them. Now we are going to declare war on these silly kids. It's still against my better judgment. But at this point, whatever. Really fun to goof off and mess around with. Okay, so all of our forces are in range to attack their selected cities. So let's go ahead and get this started. <coughs> I am going to go ahead and call my allies, just to hopefully boost some loyalty with them, because we have a shared war. Just in circle. I want to fight at least one of these battles. I might do two of them. I'm just trying to decide which ones I feel like doing. Okay, so we'll probably do that fight. probably do this fight as well. Yeah, it looks like things are set up how we need them. We'll go ahead and drop you into a fortified stance. Just in case they pull a bunch of mercenaries out of a hat and attack us. Let's go ahead and auto-resolve this one and see how well the AI does for us. So we want to minimize casualties. Minimize, not minimize. We want to minimize casualties so that we can quickly continue our conquest instead of having to wait and replenish. So this is actually not done very well, especially given that they didn't get a ton of kills. I don't like seeing that they got damaged so badly. And we'll go ahead and just raise these cities for now to try and help our popul- or not our population, to try and keep our public order from tanking too far. Yeah, see that really wasn't a very good fight, because it's going to take us I mean, that's a lot of men lost per unit. So I probably shouldn't have auto-resolved this. Let's see what they have here. <clears throat> I don't have the advantage of artillery. They have lots of naval archers. That's okay, I have enough cavalry to deal with that easily. Two units of cav. So they mostly just have archers. Now I think instead of taking my standard deployment over here, where I expect their navy to land, I'm actually going to take a more central deployment. 
because if I remember right, I took a pretty heavy beating. I don't know, I've played a bunch of battles on some other campaigns I'm testing out right now, and I've taken some pretty heavy beatings from naval missile units that just won't land and attack me if I start anywhere near the sea. So I'm going to play over here this time and just see what happens. Because I still... I mean, I still have cavalry. If I want to, I could still probably rush over there pretty quick and eliminate their archers. that check because I would have missed my peltists and that would have been bad. Let's go ahead and just start moving forward. We'll see if we can kind of use these sets of buildings to protect our flanks. They shouldn't have a ton of missiles in their land force. Yeah, so the way things are looking right now, we might run our cavalry over there. Yeah, let's go ahead and send these two over here so they can at least do some damage. You know what? No, let's not bother. Because... Only two units would actually kind of get outnumbered by all of that, and I think I would take a lot more damage than I want. So let's take out some of these bows and start moving our pikes forward. He's just got an arrow in his shoulder, not a big deal. Why are they not shooting back? This is weird. There they go. They are, of course, shooting my pikes, but my pikes have shields and decent armor. So they'll be able to withstand volleys from one unit pretty well, I think. I'm uh, not seeing any of their other missile troops just yet. Let's go ahead and move these four into position and get them ready to engage. We will start moving these two that direction. Go ahead and bring the swords up to support these two units. Start working you guys around the flank. Looks like we've dealt with their unit of archers, so let's hold fire. Because our pikes should win the head-to-head -head here pretty easily. So this is actually looking like the exact engagement I want. Let's go ahead and just slow roll forward. You guys keep moving around. Let's send the cavalry back. Keep the archers in position to support. Alright, now here's where things start to get a little bit dicey. Because they have a ton of missiles, but they're kind of exposed. We might be able to run down some of them. We'll go ahead and leave these guys on fire at will. And we'll move the spears out to help, just in case we need to engage one of these melee units and hold it in place. because their hoplites obviously aren't going to be able to charge out at us. None of our guys are taking fire, so we don't need to worry about that. Let's just take it kind of slow for now. Uh, let's bring you guys back around, actually. 
try and get around and catch these guys. I was expecting them to run the other direction. Let's see if we can just break some of these units real quick. Yeah, we'll take some missile fire from those guys. But if we can break these four, we can probably just disengage for a little. Okay, they are moving forward, which is just fine. We'll let them go ahead and charge us. I don't need to give attack orders just yet on any of these. These guys are probably going to have to pull out shortly. Oops, not both of you. Nah, let's just pull you guys out and around. Probably just did a lot of friendly fire. Okay, we'll get out there so you can chase some of them down. You guys can just go engage in the front. Our front line is engaged, so let's go ahead and give some attack orders now. We're still not doing anything on this flank, so let's go ahead and move pikes in to close it off. Put those guys up there just to be a nuisance. These guys should do just fine because they outnumber their opponents so heavily. Take these guys out of fire at will, just so they can save a couple of missiles for the fight later. See, this is what I was a little bit concerned about, is if they sent cavalry out. Ah, shit. This is why I have a general unit, but I always forget about him. So that's gonna hurt, because we're losing our elites. Holy crap. They just half killed that unit with that charge. My goodness. Go ahead and put them back on fire at will now, see if we can get rid of their cavalry. Holy cow. They just obliterated that unit of Peltists. Guys, go ahead and spread your formation out. You guys get a rear charge. Okay, Peltus, go ahead and start coming around now. You guys are going to take a charge, it looks like, but go ahead and just charge them back. Um, we'll go ahead and just drop the pikes here. Archers, can you reach that? Probably not, to be honest with you. Let's just move them manually and then see what they do. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Peltists, go ahead and come around here and start throwing your ammo. Dang, that was a devastating charge they got. I was not expecting it to do that much damage. Okay, we can just send the cavalry through to deal with their skirmishers back here. Archers, you guys just go ahead and start shooting. Everyone over here, get a move on. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Pikes have done just fine on the front line. The only ones that didn't are the ones that got shot to shit. Well, so we let... Well, we let two of our units get injured pretty badly. 
which I'm honestly a bit annoyed about, but obviously it's my fault, so it's not like I can really be upset about it. Here, let's just go ahead and raise that as well. Now nah, let's loot it. Let's get the money. I was going to say, because public order should be pretty decent in this province already anyway. Keep getting the Peltists a bit of a boost. Alright, up next is the Siege. Now, it's a lot of hoplites, so I'm actually considering going up and fighting on the walls a bit more. As always, the danger with doing that is fighting on the walls, your units have a tendency to rout and then get completely eliminated. And I'd rather avoid that. see what kind of attack we want to do. I'd like to get things opened up as quickly as possible so we're not just dealing with choke points. There's a lot of corners out here so that makes for large breaches for my guys to go into. That said, the capture zone is back here. And since we're not going to be able to push the AI into fighting back in this little bit more open area anyway, because they'll just throw everything at the walls. Um, I do kind of like the idea of spreading them out here. Plus here I've got access to a gate and I can shoot back into the rest of the city from there. Let's go ahead and stick the archers on flaming shot and put them right here so they can deal with any wall artillery. And then we'll just shove everyone else over here where those ladders go. Let's see. Let's actually put the ladders over here by that gatehouse. So my more elite infantry, let's put just in a wide line. My less elite infantry, we can go ahead and stick up here. These guys, I don't know, they can go there for now, I suppose. The general can hang out over here. That's everyone, so let's go ahead and start the battle. They do not have any wall artillery ready to go. So we can take those guys off of flaming shot, and let's start working on these walls. deal with quite a bit of their infantry just by taking out these walls. I'm surprised they have so much up on the walls right now. See that unit, we took out half of it already. Hopefully this volley will eliminate it, or get it to route. Okay, so we've done some good damage there. Let's go ahead and actually just move the artillery over here so we can get more of a straight shot instead of an angling shot. 
That'll give us a wider target to hit. So what I'll probably do is take down this corner and then take down this corner. And then maybe put my towers on here, or my ladders on here. Oh, there's the artillery. I've only just seen it. Go ahead and just get everyone on the move. You guys start running over here. I'm okay with the archers taking some fire. I just figure if everyone's moving, they're less likely to get hit. So let's go ahead and spread our line nice and thin. Yeah, it'll get our guys a little bit tired, but we're, we're just setting up for a bombardment right now anyway. That's kind of okay. Our guys are really grouped up, so every hit they get right now will do a lot of damage. But they are hitting our cheaper units. The sooner the archers get here, the better. Now the problem is we can't just use regular ammo and shoot these guys off, because the hitbox on this thing is abnormally large. But if we light it on fire, it shouldn't matter. Problem is, it doesn't look like we're doing a very good job of lighting it on fire. There we go. Now you guys can go ahead and pull back. Okay, so we definitely took some losses to the artillery. But it is a siege battle, you're supposed to take losses. I'm, uh, to be honest, I'm just not accustomed to the AI actually putting their artillery in a spot to shoot at me, because they usually do this. And just stick it in random places across the wall. Our artillery is basically in position. They're looking a little bit goofy right now. Let's go ahead and just give the attack order on that. Okay, let's not get the attack order just yet. Let's go ahead and tell them to move forward. And then we'll give another attack order. Again, I'd like to open these breaches before I commit any infantry. Okay, once these guys get set up correctly, we'll give the attack order again. Go ahead and let them load. Because I like my artillery to shoot at the same time, so I can kind of control the volleys a little more. Okay, it looks like they are all ready to go. just about gone. We'll catch a couple of their skirmishers with it as well. The walls are breached. Okay, now let's go ahead and bring the artillery over here so we can neutralize the gate. Um, let's actually be a little bit more careful than that because their missiles do have enough range to shoot at artillery, so let's just bring it over here, we can go ahead and fast forward that. So I've got two units of infantry for every breach that I intend to assault and two units of infantry for each ladder I'm going to put on the walls. Okay, let's go ahead and finish the movement and put you guys over here. You lot, go ahead and start pushing forward. 
I don't necessarily need two units of swords on this wall, now that I think about it. So let's just go ahead and drop that. Alright, now the things are in motion. Let's start moving the infantry forward. So what we want to do is get through these gaps and neutralize the towers as quickly as possible. This unit is going to be pretty damaged. It is what it is. Okay, now you guys... I'm going to head and go ahead and just have you take down the gate. Archers can start moving forward to support. General needs to stay up here. Cavalry. Let's keep the cavalry back here so that we have options once we start getting into these breaches. Yeah, these guys will take a beating, but as long as they actually make it up to the wall, it'll be fine. Go ahead and put these guys on fire at will, so that when they get here they'll throw their ammo, and then we can just charge them in. You guys, while you're waiting for that wall to come down, go ahead and attack the gate. Ballista, you're in position. Make your move. As soon as that lands, we'll give an attack order up here. So we're a little bit outnumbered over here. So let's bring some archer support over. We'll try and hit these archers from the side, I think. Okay, infantry using its ammo. Let's go ahead and send these guys in first. Now we are charging headlong into hoplites. about to go down, which means you guys can run over here and get ready to charge through. You guys, you know what, we actually don't have much of an angle from there. So let's get you ready to go up on the walls. You guys can't burn down the gate right now, so let's just have you reform and we'll put you on fire at will, and you can shoot into that mass. Looks like they've dealt with their target already. You guys should be able to throw into that, right? They might throw over here instead. So for as long as they're going to give us something to shoot at, we're going to try and shoot at it. Start getting the cavalry a bit closer now that a lot of those skirmishers have been dealt with. You guys have dealt with your target, so shift focus. You guys, please stop being like that. Um. the attack orders up for now. You guys have all used your ammo. It's really annoying that the AI will just open the gate so you can't attack it. It's really annoying. Can you guys hit that? If so, please do. These guys can go ahead and stop shooting momentarily. These guys are winning decisively. These guys are in even combat against Citizen Militia. I wonder if I pulled back out of this if they would charge out against me. You guys go ahead and just keep shooting into the hoplites. I don't know what the hell is going on here. But let's try and surround it while they're giving us the opportunity. 
artillery, I don't really care what you do because you just don't have that much ammo anyway. I feel like you guys are not winning as quickly as you should be. Okay, let's pull out of that. And see if we can shoot into it instead. form a little bit of a kill box here. Now, most of our shots are making it past the wall, but let's move over a little bit just to make sure we get as many hits as possible. These guys actually got a little beat up in that. Okay, how are these guys doing? Not too bad, actually, but we're not breaking through and getting into the gate like I wanted. Let's go ahead and move the ballista up. You guys and you guys both hit the light hoplites just to try and get them off the field. You guys are winded, but winning decisively. Let's actually charge these guys in before we pull them back. We're not going to get much of a charge bonus. But it should help our guys survive a little bit better when they pull out. Time for the love of God. Yeah, just keep shooting these citizen militia. Are they just spears? No, they are phalanx infantry. Okay, how are you guys looking? Not too tired yet. You guys, turn around and hit that. You guys, replace them. Don't be like this. Come on. Charge. Whatever, it's good enough. Okay, these guys are winded, so let's go ahead and pull them out. Swap them. We've broken through over here, so let's get troops through. Archers, knock it off. Shift your focus over here. The artillery is still moving. I just want to see if I can get a quick shot into this. Might deal a little bit of friendly fire. Oh, okay, bad idea. Lots of friendly fire. You guys are going this way. guys go ahead and charge on through. The unit I told to pull out didn't quite make it out, so let's give them another retreat order. Get the cavalry here. Oh, they didn't meet you. Alright. The cavalry through. Hopefully they go through the correct breach. How's my line looking? Still pretty good. Archers, just pick a target at this point. You guys, come over here. Actually, come down here and shoot into that. Why don't you? You guys gonna go through? Okay, so we should be beating them pretty decisively. The you guys or the archers? Okay, the archers are out of ammo, so just get out of the way. I'm not sure what the cavalry is getting caught on. I guess because I assumed that unit of infantry would not be able to catch them. Okay, you guys have done your deal. Now get back over here and get ready to charge down those stairs. You guys no longer need to hold this breach open, so just fall back. That way we can force a surround here. You guys shift fire to that. Everyone over here, just chill out for a minute. You guys just get out of there.
You guys go ahead and just pull back for now. You're not really in range to be doing much anyways. Okay, if they're not going to charge me here, that's fine. We've got cavalry around. Let's go ahead and give them a counter charge and then try and surround. You guys come through to help. Go ahead and put you on fire wheels so you can get some shots through. Now they should be winning that pretty decisive. Not my guys, they should be winning that. What the heck? They're medium shot cav. They should be winning that. I wonder if their charge got messed up. Okay, so if these guys aren't going to charge, that's fine with me. You guys get through. You guys get through. You guys be in position. Do you know what? I wonder if I could get some hits through there. What do you think? Almost. Whatever, we'll go ahead and just leave the attack order up. Nah, I'd better not do that. Okay, let's get over there and start neutralizing that tower. You guys try and get a charge. I hate when their formation gets messed up like that, but what do you do? Get the infantry in to help win this cav fight a little sooner. You guys go start capturing the tower. And that's basically it for this battle. Let's go ahead and just charge everyone in and overwhelm this. Except for that, you know, we can keep them back. Let's get a nice rear charge or route that cavalry. Go ahead and start sending these guys over to work on the flanks. Okay, we've done what we needed to over there. You guys start moving through the city. This unit is the one that's not on the wall, so they're not going to be quite as broken up. Let's engage them in the front and charge them in the rear. Hopefully we can get a decent charge here and just route them. You guys start working around this direction. We're actually winning decisively, which is nice over here. Let's see if we can't speed things along and wrap them up, though. They actually withstood that charge. So let's pull the cab out and get the infantry in to finish the job. Yeah, this will do it. We can't quite even get a charge over here, so let's just have these guys shoot. Because they're not under fire from any towers or anything. through. Let's stop shooting into that because we're probably just going to get a bunch of friendly fire. And then you know what? Eh, let's just give a mass attack order and see what happens. Because this is probably the last unit. I haven't seen anything else. So once this goes, it should be over. What I was thinking about doing is pulling my infantry back a little bit so we could get a surround, but where their formation's broken anyway, this should go pretty quick. It prevents them from fighting effectively, and it gives a morale debuff.
Incredibly, they are still fighting. So let's send a unit up the walls to hit him in the side. Go ahead and make sure no one else is involved, just because we don't need anyone else involved. It's not going to help us break them any faster. I am shocked at how well this unit is holding. These guys probably aren't going to do so great up here, but maybe it'll help a little. And there you have it. We had a pretty balanced performance by all of our units. Our lighter swords actually seem to have a lot of kills. Which is good. Our heavier swords were up against cavalry, so they weren't going to get kills quite as rapidly, but they still performed well enough. Archers did archer things, which is fine. Now if I remember right, this should have been the last settlement in the province. Let's go ahead and loot and build our treasury. Looking at it now, that was a mistake because public order took a massive hit from doing that. So let's rotate these guys back up here to help out with public order. We can afford a little bit of a public order loss for a few turns here. But we need to get this place settled back down. Because as it stands, there's going to be a rebellion next turn. We have armies in position to remove any rebellion that happens. But again, it's just casualties that we don't necessarily want to take. Do you know what? Let's just go ahead and repair those two and dismantle this one. It'll take longer for us to get a garrison here by doing that. But when we do get it, it'll be a stronger garrison, I think. The other thing we could do is pull our armies out of the cities so that they are not having a public order debuff, but I'd rather hope that they get a little bit of replenishment because the game says they will. I think we all know better than that, but, you know, a guy can hope. But I'd say that's a pretty decisive start to a war against a strong faction and that is actually looking like the Seleucids nearly dealt with. The Pergamon doesn't love me for doing that but they also don't hate me too bad. They used to have a defensive alliance with the Seleucids so I'm really gr I'm really glad I'm really glad they dropped that. And looking at this, Pergamon has some really high tier armies, but they do not have a lot of land, so I should be able to eliminate them pretty rapidly as well. But, that will be it for this episode. We are making some headway. Now again, my cautious self would normally say, don't take this war and the war with Carthage at the same time. But things are actually looking pretty good so far. My main concern is if Carthage pulls anything out of a hat up north and starts attacking into Italy. But until that happens, we're actually looking really good. In the meantime, do you know what? If that fleet went away, I could probably take this too. That looks like it'll actually be kind of a decent fight. And I kind of want to see what these units are like. Just because the unit models in this game are incredible. Or in this mod, rather. So we'll go ahead and 
have this fight be the start of our next episode. And we will see you guys in the next one.